I mean, Emily, I, I spoke to Emily yesterday and the, the story of resilience just, just came through absolutely enormously. Um, Pre-Vancouver, just tell us what happened to yourself. On the second last jump in Vancouver, I um, one leg landed in a hole and the other one didn't. And uh, I managed to snap all four ligaments in my knee. That's pretty much every major ligament in your knee. Fractured my femur, my tibia, did my cartilage and my meniscus. And um, yeah, that's, that was quite an injury. So then the next process for me was, I was luckily quite, I was really stubborn. I was arrogant <laughs> a little bit. And I was like, oh, six months I heard it takes for an ACL. I'll just get that fixed and I'll be back and I'll be ready for the games. And that was my carrot and that was all along. It was never anything to do with kind of not being back. It was just all about the process of the goal. And that's where I wanted to be, was back on that start line <coughs> in Vancouver the following year. Um, so it was all the stepping stones which were put in place for that. When the surgeon turned around to me and said, once I'd returned to the UK to get those surgeries and said, yeah, you'll probably never ski again. <laughs> that was a, a new, I was like, oh God, I ignored that. Um, and again, still, it was all about my process of getting back to kind of that start line yeah. in Vancouver. And I was back on skis in eight months. Um, I limped across the car park to go and do my first run on those skis. <laughs> Unfortunately, didn't make the team to the games because there was that nervousness of if I really was ready. Yeah. Um, that's when, after those games, I went and got um, brought British history and got the first female to win a Europa Cup event. So I, w I was ready. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was, it, the carrot was dangling and it was all about the, the stepping stones to get yeah, there. Absolutely. And I think, you know, it's something that needs to be nurtured, you know, and, and really encouraged within our, our school children these days to, to really make them a bit more resilient. I, I think it's, it's um, massive. You know, it, it, it is very nur nurturing. You know, I, th I think that's the, um, it's a mindset. So it's how you deal with those problems. You spoke about before about fear of failure stopping you doing things. So the worst period form-wise for me during my rugby career, I in, in the end took myself off. I wasn't getting picked for Leicester and, and you know, I was having real problems and I sort of tried all, all different ways to, to find a solution and it you know, took a week of me going away really thinking about it and I realised that I was so scared of failing I wasn't trying anything. So I read a book somewhere that said just allow yourself to make 10 mistakes a day and you'll find you don't make 10 mistakes a day. But as a rugby player, and England found it as a team after 2003, we were suddenly the best team in the world, everyone gunning for us, and whatever we do, we couldn't go out and lose. So we were going out not to lose games, rather than going out to win them. Yeah. So you play within yourselves, you don't try anything, you don't make any mistakes. If you don't make any mistakes, you'll never push the boundaries. And it's the same for individuals, I'm, I'm totally believing in that. So when you get that knockback, how do you put it right? Um, you know, Matt Hampson broke his neck, he, he, he would admit that he wasn't a particularly resilient person before he broke his neck. But he decided, I've got two choices. I can either wallow in this and have a horrible life, or he set up his foundation, which is to get busy living, is the tagline, and I'm going to make the very best. And actually, sometimes when you hit the lowest points, I've done quite a lot of stuff with, with, with military veterans as well. Those people that, that go, actually, I've hit my lowest point, things can only get better, but I'm going to live a better life than I would have done if I'd just been comfortable in what I was doing in my past life. And, and that's quite inspiring as well. So I think everyone's got resilience in them, but it's just getting rid of that mindset that, oh, everything's against me, the world's against me, and flipping it on its head 